This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10, and in this video I'm going to talk about the difference between sigma and pi bonding. Sigma bonds are linear head-on overlap of orbitals. Here in this example, in hydrogen gas, we have two hydrogen s orbitals overlapping with each other. That would be a sigma ss bond. And here we have a sigma bond between an s orbital and a p orbital. And we also can have sigma bonds between two p orbitals, as long as they overlap head to head. Contrast this with pi bonds. A pi bond is a parallel sideways overlap of p orbitals. So here we have p orbitals overlapping side by side. All single bonds are sigma bonds only. All double bonds consist of one sigma bond and one pi bond. And all triple bonds consist of one sigma bond and two pi bonds. So here would be an example of a sigma bond between hydrogen and fluorine in hydrogen fluoride, a sigma overlap of the hydrogen s orbital and the fp orbital. And here we have a double bond between two carbons. Notice the double bond consists of a sigma bond. The sigma bond is actually made up of two hybridized sp2 orbitals, which I talk about in my hybridization video if you go to chemin10.com. And the, um, the second bond of the double bond are sideways overlapping p orbitals, so those would be pi bonds. Thanks for watching this video. To get more chemistry help, go to chemin10.com Sign up and you'll get a free copy of my Amazon.com best-selling book, Solving Mole Problems. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.